Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series. In this demonstration, I will show you how to use Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control to clone an Oracle Fusion middleware domain by using an existing domain provisioning profile. By using Enterprise Manager to provision domains from profiles, you ensure that new environments adhere to IT best practices and standards and also reduce operation costs. This video is applicable to Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C Release 4 with Fusion Middleware Plugin Release 12.1.0.7. This demonstration assumes that a WebLogic domain provisioning profile was previously created from the source domain. I also assume that one or more host targets are already present on which to provision the new domain. This process performs like-to-like -like cloning, which means that if the source provisioning profile uses two hosts, then I must provide two hosts for the destination environment as well. Furthermore, if this domain requires a database, then a database target must exist and contain any required schema and data to ensure consistency between my data and middle tiers. Enterprise Manager allows you to create and provision database profiles for this purpose, but this is beyond the scope of this demonstration. And lastly, I assume that any web or LDAP server targets that I want to integrate with my new domain already exist. In order to clone a domain from a provisioning profile, I will log in as an administrator who has been granted the provisioning designer role. Navigate to the Middleware Provisioning page. This page provides a summary of all of the middleware provisioning profiles and deployment procedures available to the administrator. In this example, I want to clone a domain that was running Oracle SOA Suite 11G Patch Set 6. So from the Profiles region at the top of the page, I select an existing WebLogic domain provisioning profile to use as my source and then click the provision button in order to begin the provisioning process. This profile includes the SOA binaries, patches, and the domain configuration. Notice that the source domain was deployed to a single host, so therefore I must identify a single destination host under which to provision the new domain. I must also provide the credentials for this host. In the middleware section, I accept the default Java installation directory, which in this example is already present on the destination host targets. In addition, I must provide administrator credentials for the new WebLogic domain. In the database section, I select an existing database target that was already discovered in Enterprise Manager Cloud Control, and I supply its credentials. This database target must contain a clone of the schema used by the original source domain. In the web tier section, I select an already discovered web server target like Oracle HTTP server, and then provide its credentials. In the Schedule section, 
you can choose to either run this procedure immediately or at a later time. You can also customize the notifications, such as email messages, that you will receive as the procedure executes. And finally, you can optionally run the procedure in a special analyze mode. In this mode, Enterprise Manager will run all of the prerequisite checks for the procedure, but not actually provision anything. Now I'm ready to submit the procedure. After submitting the deployment procedure, I can track its progress from the Procedure Activity page. And for troubleshooting purposes, I can view the details and results of each step involved in the cloning of the SOA domain. So that concludes this demonstration on the use of an existing WebLogic domain provisioning profile with Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C. Now you can quickly clone your WebLogic environments throughout your enterprise, including those running Oracle Fusion middleware. Thanks for watching.